On the New South Wales central coast, a sleeping giant awakens. Signs of life appear. This 1926 steamroller is alive again, for the first time in 60 years. Built in England and used there for roadworks, this metal workhorse came to Australia and a working life of local road building with Newcastle City Council. After its council days ended, decades were spent as a static display at a local park before being moved to a rail museum near Curry Curry. Now privately owned, the machine is back in steam, the result of a painstaking four-year restoration. With steam engines, things happen very slowly. There is no rush. The roller is eased back to life over many patient hours. Slowly, boiler pressure builds. Then it's time to hit the track in the Australian bush, so very different from the English factory where the machine was born. This is a Alien Porter F-Type steamroller. Aylings produced thousands of these types of rollers that went all over the world and uh, it's taken four years and uh, we've actually brought it back from the state it was in, it had been in a park at Katara, to uh, actually operating again. These types of engines were uh, sent all over the world, all over Australia for road construction and uh, this particular engine actually, it worked in England but in Australia it actually worked for Newcastle City Council. They're not designed really for road haulage, although they, they did tow like a living van and uh, whatever paraphernalia they needed for constructing roads. These types of engines were mainly used for consolidation, exactly the same job that a diesel roller does today, but they did it with a power of steam. We've been the custodian of it now for four years. In that four year period, it's had to have pretty much everything done to it, from having the boiler retube to having the firebox restayed and a lot of other tidying up work, all the pipe work was missing and, and uh, a lot of the, the valves and the handles were all missing too, so they've all had to be made. It's tons of fiddly stuff and uh, there's probably another four years left to go on it before it looks like it just came out of A-Things again, um, but we are getting there. The front end is all brand new, it's got a brand new smoke box, it's got a hugely repaired tender and, uh, and yeah, a lot, a, still a lot of little things left to go. They're a little bit like a cross between driving your car and driving a boat because it's, it's uh, like a car in the steering but like a boat in the sense that because of the looseness of the chains it's always a bit to the left, a bit to the right and eventually you'll end up in a straight line. It's, it's sort of a, it's a rhythm you build up with the engine itself and every engine is a little bit different. The other big difference between it and a railway engine is the gradients that you have to deal with with a steam engine on the road. You don't get anywhere near the gradients on a railway. Um, like this thing goes up and down the same sort of hills your car goes up and down. And the difference uh, in the water level in the boiler is huge, so you've got to, got to keep your eyes on that. After the time and the money that we've spent on it, I think the future plans are probably going to be putting it in a large glass case that's airtight, I would think. It's been the gift that's kept on giving, I'll put it that way. I, I don't think there was anything we touched on it that was an easy fix. Everything on it has been an absolute nightmare. They're a little bit different because they have that, uh, that public appearance factor. They, they do go on the roads, you can see them. And for this engine in particular, it probably has a lot of memories from kids growing up around the Newcastle area. It was actually the steamroller that was in Katara Park for years as a children's play thing before it was relocated to Richmond Vale. So there's a, a lot of memories that are probably attached to it from there. 
I suppose deep down it's uh, sort of a romantic attachment to steam, something like that. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very complicated question to try and answer. Today is a great day. It's in steam and it's all about the roller. The last four years have been a very long, tiresome operation trying to get it to this point. And there was an awful lot of those days where I would have sooner have been doing something else. But uh, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. Um, but today, it's, uh, it's the, the best part of that relationship. <laughs>